Now then, welcome to the channel and the Lake District. And today we're parked at High Broad Rain on the A591 just above Grasmere. And we're going to do a bit of a, a Greenburn horseshoe. First off, we're going up there, Helm Crag, Gibson Knot. And then we're coming down, down here. The other side of that is Steel Fell. I can't remember what that's called. Quarter, quarter Brow, is it? Something like that. So yeah, it's a bit of a, a green burn horseshoe. So let's have a quick look at the route. So we've just passed through Town Head. I didn't know you can, you can park there. Look, should have parked there. Off the main road. Right, so this is actually second attempt. We got right down here first time I realised. No microphone, left it in car, are not I? So we'll have another go. Should be okay this time. We only wasted about half an hour. Ah, now, so the sign on that gate there, that was our planned route. Yeah, I'm not sure about that because according to my map, that's access land. Anyway, we can, we can go up this track and then I think there's a footpath leads down to cross that, uh, that stream and pick our intended route back up there. So uh, if anybody knows about, about that there, let us know. So with some new additions today, I've been carrying them around for ages and not used them. Ever since I got Lanshan, well one of the reasons I got that was so I'll get some trekking poles as well. Maybe help with me, me aging knees. Anyway, they're a pain. So far, they're more trouble than they're worth. And I've had to make, I'll show you it later on, an adapter to attach gimbal onto one of them. <laughs> I'll show you that later on. But no, I'm not impressed already. We'll see what the light coming down. Might be a bit of a help here. Right, you know this gate. I know my mate, when we did, I think it was on Dale's Way, and all blooming styles and everything on that. Oh. He ended up one day on top of this, I think it was a squeeze style, and his trekking poles went flying, he'd had enough of them. We'll see how we get on with them today. Right, we'll see if we can find this footpath that leads us back onto our intended track. Obviously, it's not up there. But again, I think that's access land. Hmm. If there's anybody out there knows, drop us a comment, let us know. Right, well we can see our path on the other side of the valley there, look. 
It's just getting to it. Now we'll carry on here a bit further. So there was me faffing around trying to get over the stream down there. I didn't see that footbridge. Ah oh dear. It's uh, new territory for me. I've never been up this valley before. So. Just chatting to a bloke there who lives, lives uh, in Town Ed. And he was saying that most people do this the other way around. That we've been different again. We did the Kent Mere Horseshoe like that. The wrong way around him. Did the, the hard bit last. So hopefully this is the hard bit first going up here. Right up we go. Well, this is a good path, zigzagging its way up the, the fell side. That chap I was speaking to down there was saying this was, this was done by National Trust a few years ago. Makes life a bit easier going up. And I'm not a fan of these. <laughs> they are more trouble than they're worth. And I've got my map case with me again today. I thought I might, I might do a bit more navigation later. We'll see. But... It keeps catching on that. Top of it keeps getting caught in Charlie's lead. <laughs> uh, I hope they help coming downhill because they're not helping going up. There's some people up there on the way down. Oh no, they're not. They're on the way up. Uh, right, onwards we go. I don't know if you can make out and there's a vague path goes off that way and that chap down there was saying that's that's a good summer route up onto Helm Crag takes you through some some scree and up onto a, a ledge just below the summit so that might be one to try for a, a different route and those two people and the dog following us up here and they seem to have disappeared I don't know where they've gone Right, up we go.
a good view looking over to Easdale Tarn, Tarn Crag and the Langdales behind that. And we're almost at the top of Gibson Knot. So here we are at the top of Gibson Knot. That's looking over to Easdale Tarn. And then back behind me that way where we've just been at Helm Crag. It's glorious. It's nice and quiet up here as well. Oh, a bit breezy though. Over there the, the Dodds and Helvellyn got a bit of clag on them. But we're alright here. Yeah, fantastic. Nice and peaceful as well. So we're on our way up there to that bird. Uh, where's it? Oh, <laughs> Calf Crag, and then round the, the head of the valley, and then over there is Steel Fell, and then back down the ridge from Steel Fell. Hey, glorious! So, we're gonna head off down here from uh, Gibson Knot now. What time are we at? It's just coming up for 12, so. We might get over Calf Crag and then see if there's somewhere for lunch. Right, so we'll catch you in a bit. So we're on the the wide ridge between Gibson Knot and Calf Crag. It's a bit breezy up here now as well. And it's, it's a bit wet in places as well. <laughs> but I feel so much happier <laughs> for not having these in my hands. Hey, we're doing my head in. Now, the last time I was on this path, I was going that way, and it was on the coast to coast. That'll be 2010, I think it was, we did that. I think I might have a picture of us on, back there on Helm Crag. I'll, I'll stick it up there if I can find it. We've got good views though. It's great. Not looking over there. That's Steel Fell, which is our our return route. I'm not sure what that is that way. That's Far Easdale, isn't it? That valley there. I can't remember. When I find out, I'll stick name on up there. Yeah, and the uh, the Dodds have cleared now. See right over there. Yeah, beautiful day. Few people around now though. Right, on we go. come over Calf Crag and we're now on our way to Steel Fell and I've not done much much filming at all it's been boggy windy and overpopulated it's got a bit tedious if I'm honest but we're making our way over to Steel Fell and it is really really boggy around it I've been over over boot deep a few times well, we've come over Steel Fell and uh, I'm sick of this now. Up there, boggy, windy, overpopulated. It's nightmare along here, the bogs. I mean, gimbals playing up. Too many people. <laughs> oh dear. And it started off so well. <laughs> oh well. On which rudge anyway?
Well, we managed to get out of the wind for a bit and have our lunch. And that's looking down uh, Green Burnt. Ah, my blooming gimbal's knackered. I think, I think wind's strained one at motors on it. Ah, oh, look. It can do without that. So, look at it. What the filming is going to be like for the rest of the walk, I'm not sure. Right, so we'll plod on. Well, that's steel fell done. Oh, and I'll be glad when we get down from here. The whole ridge has been awful. And now I'm having issues with blooming gimbal. I'll be glad. I will. <laughs> Another one, I'll be glad to get back to the car. That blooming phone's all over the place, isn't it? <laughs> it's not been... Well, there was quite a few people on ridge over between Helm Crag and... Uh, calf Crag. It's a bit quieter here. There are still one or two people around. Uh, it's done me head in really. <laughs> what from starting with issues with the trekking poles, <laughs> then the gimbal. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably have enjoyed it when I get back to the car. Right, we're on our way down uh, Quarter Breast. I'm going to sign off while I still can. I can't do much with this, this gimbal now. I think wind's strained motors. So I'm going to sign off. Uh, it's not been the best walk ever. <laughs> all the ridge, right from Helm Crag, all the way along to Steel Fell. No, not impressed with it at all. I, I wouldn't bother with that if I were you. That's the second time we've done the stretch the other side of Steel Felks. First time we did that, we came up from Dumbnail Rays, and that was steep. Then we went over to Hull Scarf. Right, so yeah, it's not it's not been brilliant, really. I mean, we've had decent views. But, you know, the terrain underfoot, done me head in. <laughs> right, so anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do the usual liking, subscribing, ringing the notification bell, commenting, sharing, all that malarkey. And hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Draw.